A very good afternoon to you and welcome to what will be a festival atmosphere at Highbury. The champions, Arsenal, standing on the brink of the extraordinary, something unique in modern football, going through a whole season undefeated. Arsenal make two changes for this historic game. Dennis Bergkamp, who's just signed a new deal to stay here next year, is recalled in place of Jose Antonio Reyes and Gilberto has recovered from injury to reclaim his place in midfield at the expense of Ray Parler. Master City, as if going down wasn't enough, they've got all sorts of injury problems. Top scorer Les Ferdinand is missing. He had a knee operation this week and Muzzy is it misses what would have been his last Leicester game before being sold this summer. He's got a hamstring injury. Steve Guppy's dropped, so there are places for Stefan Freund and Lilian Nallis. And away we go. Arsenal in search of history. At home to Leicester City. Lauren. And now Vieira. Gilberto, who scored against Leicester up at the Walker Stadium. And fancied himself to do the same there. But always going over. Perez. Vieira. Henri from long range. Plenty of zip on it. But the distance was close to 40 yards. Bergkamp. Off towards Jungberg. Works an angle for a shot. It was the right idea. He was looking for the far corner, but overcooked it. Perez. Vieira. Scored a fine goal recently, didn't he, at Spurs? Vieira after a flowing move. Henri, there's that characteristic burst of pace in Jungberg on the near post. Best yet from Arsenal. Set up again by Henri, who has loads of assists apart from all the goals. Who on this green base of a surface takes a fast bowler's run up and hits it hard. And Walker had to get a little touch on that to prevent it going into the roof of the net for Henri's 30th Premiership goal of the season. He can hit them. Coming here in Leicester's position to play with a huge and second meaningful attack of the game. Now, what have we got here? It was Frank Sinclair who set it up with a good run forward, great ball in, and Dickoff does the rest. Could Arsenal come a cropper right at the death in their season? Lehman came. Couldn't get there. Good header from Dickoff. And a great ball, too, from Sinclair to set it up. Nothing wrong with that. You couldn't write it, could you? Vieira. Henri! Can't quite get past Davis. That's the bird cap. Couldn't dig it out from under his feet. Not effectively, anyway. Thought for a moment there, Henri was going to work his magic. Bergkamp certainly couldn't. Good news for them is that they've still got a bit of this half and the whole of the second half to do something about this scoreline. Pires! Oh! With some zip on it too. Looking for the far corner. This was a bit more like it from Arsenal, who have been in second gear. Flashed all over the country. And everyone will be wondering, is this the day that Arsenal lose that long unbeaten record? Not that time for Henri. Gilberto. Pires. Pires again. Keeping. Saved it twice. It really swerved in the air the first time, which is why he couldn't hold it. But he got there, and he'll hope that Sven Joran Eriksson was watching this. It was difficult to hold. It's a good save, and even better to get back out. 
and foil the oncoming strikers. Ian Walker, who says he wants to stay at Leicester, even though they're going down, to win the ball, but he didn't. He took Cole's legs out. Yep, that's a stone wall penalty. Is this his 30th Premiership goal of the season? He hasn't scored in his last four matches. So at the restart, normality is resumed at Ivory. Thierry Henry with his 39th goal of the season and his 30th in the Premiership. Bergkamp. Oh, lovely ball to Henry, who nearly picks up Youngberg. It was almost a picture goal, but great credit to Stefan Freud for getting back there to defend. Takes it quickly. Difficult bounce that for Walker, who watched it well. <laughs> Get out. Now it's Lauren. Vieira. Bergkamp. Arsenal looking to invent something again around the edge of the box. They've done just that. It's Vieira. champions that was brilliant that was a glimpse of the football which has graced this entire season from a magnificent side the lovely bit of play Bergkamp look at the ball he invents to Vieira terrific run finishes it off wow did I say that Bergkamp's ball to Vieira at Chelsea was the pass of the season? That wasn't far behind, was it? Oh, that's just glorious. Fantastic stuff. There's nothing you can do about that kind of thing. Arsenal have just made their class tell. And when they slip into this kind of mood, there are very, very few teams who can cope with them. Reyes, lovely angle. Jungberg! Oh, that would have been a terrific goal as well. Well saved by Coyne. But again, it was scintillating football in the build-up. Sometimes they just see angles that other sides don't appreciate. Jungberg denied by Coyne. Vieira. Can they add a third for good measure? Henri invents a little ball. Torre! Denied by Coyne. Reyes couldn't finish it. Adu might. And a wonderful block by Davizas. Great defending from Leicester. Now Henri. It's a bit too long for Freddie Youngberg. Did he handle that? No, says the referee. That is handball, surely. Now, Paul Durkin says play on because Leicester have possession. As he comes forward to make sure he collects another championship medal. His 332nd league appearance for Arsenal, maybe his last, but the fact that he's on the pitch means that he will get the medal. Whistle's going to go soon. The most glorious season that any Arsenal fan, I'm sure, can remember. They are unbeaten. The history men. Not once champions. Remember, not since the three pound a week part timers of Preston North End back in 1889 has any side done this in the top flight. Arsenal 
are the new Invincibles. They are the champions and they are unbeaten. Arsenal 2, Leicester City 1 and the championship trophy to be handed out here in a few minutes' time.